Welcome back everybody to another episode of Amateur Customizer or how to start a project and not finish it because I am the pro procrastinator when it comes to doing little projects like this you think they're simple enough they're small they should be easy to do but I tend to start a project and then put it aside and start another one put that aside but so anyways, I thought I'd show you some of the cars that I have been working on. And these ones, I probably started before the other cars you've seen in the other videos I've done on amateur customizing. Well, this is one of the cars you did see on one that I had drilled apart already. And these are the co-molds. They're called co-mold wheels because they're, well, two separate pieces put together and now uh, you'd have to cut those apart if you want to separate them but the co-molds came on various vehicles the main lion vehicles they had some with the wheels on this is copyright 2001 it's actually a second edition and that's where I got the wheels for this one from and I had had them on this car, but they were way too big in the back, so uh, they look cool, but they just didn't roll. So these ones I found from a Maisto Pro Rods vehicle, and these look really good on the Nova. So I've got to finish this up, and the front ones don't roll, the rear ones do, so I have to do a little trimming, but that'll work. And this is another second edition with the co-molds on. So Mars Manx. And that looks pretty nice with those wheels on. A lot nicer than your basic Hot Wheel wheels. And then th these are copyright 2002 for the 93, which is the 35th year. So they came up with Highway 35. And all these cars featured the co-mold wheels. These are all copyright 2002. There's the different series that they had. And these were the cars for the Scorchers. And this is the Street Beast, or Street Breed. And this is the only one I haven't opened up. If I see more wheels there, there's the cars on the back. And they continued on with the co-molds up till at least 2009 there's the vehicles that i couldn't find most of them but i did find the corvette which i really like so i'm happy to have that one okay well let's uh, look at some of the projects i have started this is the 34 ford so this one's been around for a long time first copyright 79 but they continue making them for at least a couple of decades as far as i know so this one was in rough shape the headlights broken off tampo a bit on one side paint in horrible shape so i drilled it out and of course wasn't sure what to do so that one was put aside and well another 34 ford i thought i want to make a fenderless hot rod and I wanted to take the bumpers off as well and as you can see well, as far as I'm concerned it looks pretty good so of course I had to trim the chassis because there's side pipes that come on it so I had to trim that off once I removed the running boards and fenders and it's looking pretty good although it attaches at the rear tab on the body slips into the chassis so once we remove the bumpers well we got to figure out a way to attach it now but overall it's looking pretty good so that's a nice project here's a 32 ford that's the 32 ford three window that's a body off another one well i thought i'd make a roadster out of it and so cutting off the roof and filing down all the edges there leaving enough for the windshield frame it makes a pretty convincing looking roadster now 
I call this one Rat Boy. These are slot car uh, wheels and tires that I found on some slot cars that were in rough shape, but the wheels and tires are still there. So, of course, you got the engine. So, that looks pretty good. So, I just got to finish that up. And there's another one I started, which is based on the Midnight Auto. So this one I believe is a first edition. And so I wanted to make a exposed engine hot rod. So I cut off the front end. And while it was apart and I was wondering what to do, I have the Hooligan, which is copyright. 2000. Well, I had taken one of these apart and then I discovered that the fender unit actually fit actually perfect on the body for the Midnight Auto. So now that makes a cool looking project, I think. And for an engine, I could probably just use the engine from the 32 modify that so that's going to be a cool looking hot rod so that's another one that i have going well i uh, took a 55 nomad and i cut the roof off so let's make an el camino now it's got matchbox wheels on it which actually look pretty good on it and i just put the green tape on there just to see what it looked like with the uh, fender skirts and then of course just color in the bumper The bumpers with the green sharpie just to see how it looks too like that but so uh looking kind of sharp so that's another project worthwhile doing and of course i took a 40 ford and i wanted to remove the bumpers but you see that's where the body attaches to the chassis just like the 34 so i started removing the front bumpers and i just gave it a quick blue paint job with a brush and then put the wide white walls on and it looks pretty sharp well I had uh, several other 40 Fords so I cut one in half and I thought that might make a cool looking trailer so that's kind of neat and so uh, that's a project definitely worthwhile uh, pursuing and trying to complete and I'll show you another car, and this one's a Matchbox. It's one of the Made in England cars, but you know it was in rough shape. The wheels were worn right out, and so I started filing down all the mold lines, and I think I'm got it pretty good so far. Well, I discovered some Hot Wheel wheels that fit <clears throat> almost perfectly in the car. They certainly fill up the wheel well openings, and I still have working suspension on it. Now I just used a Sharpie and I colored it, made a strobe stripe. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> but anyways, and then I got two more cars. Hot Wheels Mustang, copyright 79. Now I have more in better shape, so... I thought these two definitely I'll take apart and, and customize. Now this one I had, had drilled out, but before I started drilling out the chassis, I just kind of ripped one apart and you see where it ripped the post right out of the, <laughs> the hood. So anyways, uh, here's the window unit. And that's sandwiched between the chassis and the body. So you see you got the side trim and the bumper trim, the grill, tail lights. So that might be a little easier to detail at least. So anyways, there you go. And I got a few other bits and pieces in here. 
all the pieces and parts I pulled off various cars and whatnot. So, and this has been in here for over 15 years and now it's a little rattle because it's all hard. And probably most of the paint's no good anymore. So, so anyways, that's uh, my uh, group of projects I have on the go. I should really knuckle down and get some of these done, but, you know, hey. I'll find some time in the future, hopefully. So I hope you liked the video. Maybe it'll give you some inspiration on what you can do with your cars. So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one.